Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvise Shasunya Bhadi Paschatya Deshatarine Vancha Kaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, welcome everyone to our ongoing study of Kapila Shiksha. And we're, tonight we're looking at chapter 33, which is the final chapter of this third canto. On the acti and describes tonight we'll hear about the activities of Devahuti, but this is the conclusion of the teachings of Lord Kapila. Okay. So the chapter begins. We heard in chapter thirty two the conclusion of Lord Kapila's teachings. So the chapter 33 begins with Devahuti's prayers, offering prayers to Lord Kapila. And Lord Kapila gives his final instructions to his mother, Devahuti, and then Lord Kapila leaves. And then we hear about Devahuti's perfection. And that goes up to text 32. And then 33 to 35, we'll hear about the activities of Lord Kapila. And then final two verses, the Fala Shruti, Shruta, Shruti. Yeah. Okay, so first verse. <coughs> Sri Maitreya said, Thus Devahuti, the mother of Lord Kapila and wife of Kardama Muni, became freed from all ignorance concerning devotional service and transcendental knowledge. She offered her obeisances unto the Lord, the author of the basic principles of the Sankhya system of philosophy, which is a background of liberation, and she satisfied him with the following verses of prayer. So her prayers, of course, are very significant. Would someone like to read for me, please? <laughs> Rajeshwari Mataji, to be starting. Okay. Rajeshwari Mataji. Danny, the Prabhuji. Please call the next person. Dhani Deepavji. Uh, Maharaj, please accept my respectful obeisance. Devahudi said, Brahma is said to be unborn because he takes birth from the lotus flower which grows from your abdomen while you tie in the ocean of the, uh, you lie in the ocean at the bottom of the universe. But even Brahma simply meditated upon you, whole body is the source of unlimited universes. My dear Lord, although personally you have nothing to do, you have distributed your energies in the interactions of the modes of nature, and for that reason, the creation, maintenance, and dissolution of the cosmic manifestation take place. My dear Lord, you are self-determined and the Supreme Personality of Godhead for all living entities. For them, you created this material manifestation, and although you are one, your diverse energies can act multifariously. This is Inconceivable to us. Two, three. Uh -huh. Okay. 
So Devahuti is offering prayers to her mother, uh, to her son rather. So the mother is glorifying the son. Of course, Devahuti had already been told that her son would be the incarnation of the Lord. So she knew the identity of her. She was all right. Someone else can read text number four. Hare Krishna Maharaj, time to accept my humble obeisances. The inconceivable Lord, my abdomen. Oh my Lord, how is that possible for the Supreme One who has in his belly all the cosmic manifestation? The answer is that it is possible for at the and just like a small baby, you lick the toe of your lotus foot. All right, so you can see in the diary of a baby is laying on the banyan leaf and he's licking his toe. <laughs> So it's very interesting to see this pastime. So Devahuti is saying that you took your birth from my abdomen. The wonder, how is it possible you could be the source of everything? But then she remembers that for, in his belly, all the cosmic manifestation is there. And at the end of the millennium, you lay down on the leaf and suck your toe. And so the, the, Lord, the Lord Himself is curious about His lotus feet because so many people worship His lotus feet. They get so much nectar from taking shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. So Lord Krishna Himself wants to taste that nectar. There you can see. Wonderful Leela here. Okay, this is a nice verse here from Bilva Mangal Thakur from the Bala Makundastikam. Would someone like to read for us? Pranam Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Yes. Karara Vinde Na Padara Vindam Mukhara Vinde Vinive Sayantam Vartasya Patrasya Pute Sayanam Balam Mukundam Manasas Marami. Oh, very nice, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Prash. With, with his lotus hand, he places his lotus foot in his lotus mouth. I meditate on that baby Mukunda lying on the leaf of a banyan tree. Mm. Bal Mukunda Shtakam Gila Mangala Thakura. So you see the Lord there on the banyan, on the leaf of a banyan tree. Okay. There's another one, the same pastime, similar. Would you like to read again, Maharaji? Yes, yes, Maharaji. My dear Lord, you have assumed this body in order to diminish the sinful activities of the fallen and enrich their knowledge in devotion and liberation. Since these sinful people are dependent on your direction by your own will, you assume incarnation as a bore and as the other forms. Similarly, you have appeared in order to distribute transcendental knowledge to your dependents. Mm. So the Lord comes in so many different forms mentioned here, how he also came as Lord Varaha. Okay, and then here's the, this very, very wonderful verse, verse number six in the chapters, one of your memorization verses. I think you all must know it by now. Yes, Maharaji, you can also read this one. You recite so nicely. I'm sure you can do this one. Yanna medeya sarvan anu kirtanand Yat pravanad yat smarnad api kvachita Swado api sadhya svanaya kalpate Kuta punaste bhagavan mudarsanat to say nothing of the spiritual advancement of person who see the Supreme Person face to face, even a person born in a family of dog eaters immediately becomes eligible to perform Vedic sacrifice if he once utters the holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead or chants about him, hears about his pastimes, offers him obeisances or even remembers him. Yes, this is a very power of devotional service, right? In the beginning of the nectar of devotion, 
Where Rupa Goswami describes a character, describes that devotional service uh, destroys all the past sinful activities. Even our parabdha karma can be destroyed by devotional service. Is it karma which is already manifest? It's mentioned here in this verse that he's born in a sadhya. So he's born in a family of dog eaters. So, so that's an indication of parabdha karma. To be, even though he has such a heavy karma, that if he once utters the holy name or chants about him, offers obeisances or even remembers him, even these things, he does these things, he said even once, then he becomes eligible to perform Vedic sacrifices. So how is it possible? It's possible by the power of devotional service. Of course, there's qualities in uttering the holy name. But the point is that the devotional service has that power. If we do proper, pure devotional service, it can destroy even parabdha karma. And this is the verse to support that. So this is why we often quote this verse. It's an important verse to remember. Is it clear? Anybody question, has any questions so far? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Dandat Pranam Maharaj. Yes. Maharaj, your uh, Maharaj mentioned that even if a person chants one time, he becomes eligible to perform Vedic sacrifices. Yes. Uh, but in Skon Maharaj, we have a minimum requirement to have Brahmanical to do the uh, Pujari Seva in the temple. How does that go with this statement, Maharaj? Well, it's a different, it's a whole, it's a very different thing, right? To perform Vedic sacrifices, what, what particular Vedic sacrifice we're talking about? And we say, <laughs> well, we do see within our Krishna consciousness movement, we do see people who are born in families of dog eaters, and they may be performing Vedic yagyas, they're offering the deity worship and so on. So we do see it, that they're given it, they're given the opportunity. It's not that they're given the opportunity immediately, but with the initiation, that is a, the sign that they've become purified. Because they're given the sacred thread, and so with the sacred thread, they're given the Brahmanical status, and then they become eligible to perform the Vedic sacrifice. And so it's not a, not a contradiction. We, Thank you, Maharaj. We, we do see devotees from... Uh, there is a hand raised. Okay, we do see devotees from countries like China and uh, uh, also Korea and Japan and so on, like the Philippines, parts like that, where people are common to... It's common for people to eat dogs. But they become very nice devotees by chanting the holy name and by engaging in devotional service. So we're showing the application of this verse. Yes, another hand is there. Yes. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Yes. We say that even a Prarabdha Karma, which means uh, which is, has been because of that we have gone, they also can be vanished. And what about Sanchit Karma, Maharaj? Sanchit Karma, which we have baggage on the back, which is not many unmanifested, how they also will go off. I, I can't understand what you're saying, Prabhu. I'm sorry. What what if one has what? If one has what? Uh, Maharaj, as you told, the uh, 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 dog, dog eaters means the prarabdha karma. Yes. Prarabdha also can be uh, uh, taken off by the by this one. So devotional service. Similarly, we know that we have sanchit karma. Unmanifested uh, Sanchit karma, unmanifested uh, uh, karma. So oh, they also will go off or they will stay with us? Pan Panchit karma. We have Kam Prarabdha and Aparabdha karma. Apa Aparabdha, we can say Maharaj. Okay, Aparabdha karma, yes. Of course, if the Parabdha karma goes off, then the Aparabdha karma will also be nullified, yes. The Parabdha karma is more difficult to remove than the Aparabdha. They also will not. 
Yes, all the karma. All the karma can be. And removed. the propensity of. Uh, and Maharaj, there will be propensity of the doing sinful activities. Usually, that pulls us back to the in the uh, the you know the material world and in, again. So that how can be removed? That one also. Yeah, that the propensity to propensity of uh, doing sin activities. sinful activities. Yes. The sinful desire seeds are removed. The sinful desire seeds are removed by proper knowledge, by devotional service. The sinful desire seeds are there due to ignorance. Ignorance is the root cause of sinful activities. So the more we become situated in devotional service, we'll have proper knowledge and we will remove even the desire for sins. It is only the process of devotional service which can remove the, the, sinful, the desire for sin. Any other process of atonement, like performing sacrifices or charity or penances and so on, that will never remove the desire for sin. But if you perform pure devotional service, now I'm, I'm not talking about mixed devotional service, it must be pure devotional service then pure devotional service will remove the desire for sinful activities. Is it clear? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead. Then the next verse, these two verses, very, very powerful, very important. Yes, who would like to read this one? Another memorization verse, I think you have to. Aho Bataspa Pacho Ato Gariyan Yajiva Gre Varatadi Nama Dubyam De Pusta Paste Juhava Sasnur Arya Brahma Nuchar Nama Pranati Yete. Oh, how glorious are they whose tongues are chanting your holy name? Even if born in the families of dog eaters, such persons are worshipable. Persons who chant the holy name of your lordship must have executed all kinds of austerities and fire sacrifices and achieved all the good manners of Aryans. To be chanting the holy name of your lordship, they must have bathed at holy places of pilgrimage, studied the Vedas and fulfilled everything required. Yes. So another very important verse, powerful verse describing the power of devotional service. That even one is born in the family of dog eaters, but because they are chanting the holy name, that in the past it's understood that they've already done everything. They've already performed all kinds of piety and uh, done, been to all the holy places and studied all the scriptures. They did everything. And now they're chanting the holy name. So the birth is not really the indication. You have to see the activities of the person. So Haridas Thakur, Lord Chaitanya made him the Acharya in chanting the holy name. But by birth he was born in the, in the cow eaters. Very, very important verses, very powerful, often quoted, and definitely we should know them and we should use them. Mm -hmm. Manjari Mataji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Maharaj. I believe, my Lord, that you are, you are Lord Vishnu himself, God, the Supreme Brahman. The saints and sages, being freed from all the disturbances of the senses and mind, Meditate upon you see all the modes of material nature. At the time of dissolution, all the Vedas are sustained in you only. Okay. So. Thus, the Supreme Personality of God at Kapila, satisfied by the words of his mother towards whom he was very affectionate, replied with gravity. My dear mother, the path of self-realization which I have already instructed to you is very easy. You can execute this system without difficulty and by following it, you shall very soon be liberated 
even within your present body. Right. We can be liberated even within the present body. We don't need to wait till we have to give up this body to become liberated. We can be liberated now. And Lord Kapila says also, this process is very easy, not difficult. Process is easy, <laughs> we, but we just have to do it, right? Yes. All right, someone read text number 11. Mukunda Murari Prabhuji. Nanda Sutta Prabhuji. My dear, my dear mother, those who are actually transcendently certainly follow the instruction as I have given them to you, you may rest assured that if you trans traverse this path of self realization perfectly, Surely you shall be freed from fearful material contamination and shall ultimately reach me. Mother, persons who are not conversant with this method of devotional service currently cannot get out of cycle of birth and death. Hmm. Okay. So Lord Kapila is replying to his mother. Have faith in the instructions. Do what you're told. You'll get the result. But if, if you doubt, you have to have confidence in what's been taught. So now we're going to hear about Devahuti's devotional service by his mother. He's appreciated her, he's given her instructions. And described here, text number 12, Maitreya said, Personality of Godhead Kapila, permission from her and left his home. His mission having, having been fulfilled. So we may think, oh, it's not very good to go and leave your mother, but he's the Supreme Lord, remember. He's independent. And his mission had been fulfilled. What was his mission? He taught his mother the path of perfection, and he brought his mother to the perfectional stage. And so he'd done everything required. Devahuti had come to the perfectional stage and there was no more purpose in Lord Kapila staying at home. So he left. All right. Someone read text 13. As, Hare Krishna Maharaj, as instructed by a son, Devahuti also began to practice Bhakti Yoga in that very ashrama. She practiced Samadhi in the house of Kardama Muni, which was so beautifully decorated with flowers that it was considered the flower crown of the river Saraswati. She began to bathe three times daily and thus her curling black hair gradually became grey. <laughs> Due to austerity, her body gradually became thin and she wore old garments. So this is uh, the practice of spiritual life, taking bath three times powerful purification and of course for Devahuti, she's taking bath in the, in the Saraswati. Her hair becoming grey, well, that, that's nothing uncommon. Her hair all becomes grey. She became thin and she wore old garments. Well, remember, go ahead Prabhu, take, keep reading, text 15. Yes, go ahead. That's what the project. Yeah, the home and household paraphernalia of Kardama, by dint of his mystic powers of austerity and yoga, that his opulence was sometimes envied by those who travelled in outer space and airplanes. So Kardama was one of the, the nine daughters, and then he had also Kapila. So he'd done his work, that was his work as Prajapati, and then he mission and aerial mansion for Devahuti to go travelling in along with him. Yes? The opulence of the household of Kardama Muni as the form of milk. The chairs and benches were made of ivory and were covered by clothes of lace with golden filigree. We can imagine the opulence. Even today, if you had a place like that, you know, it'd be so opulent. Oh my goodness, what happened? Wait. Yes, sir? Yes. The false. There was no need of light. 
for the household was illuminated by the rays of these jewels. The female members of the household were all amply decorated with jewellery. Of electricity, everything was illuminated by the rays of the jewels. And in the, the palace, like at Hastinapur, there used to be many jewels there. Everything was being taken. Yes. The compound of the main and flowers and many trees which produced fresh fruit and were tall and beautiful. The attraction of such gardens was that singing birds would sit on the trees and their chanting voices as well as the humming sound of the bees made the whole atmosphere as pleasing as possible. When Devahuti would enter that lovely garden to take her bath in the pond filled with lotus flowers, the associates of the denizens of heaven household life, her great husband Kartama gave her yeah, I'm, should, should we call him, sir? Come in and see while I'm talking, while I'm giving the class. At the same time? Yeah. At the Pratamo. Uh, if you kind of stop for a few minutes. What can I do? Mm. Yes, go ahead, Prabhu. Keep. Keep. Although, in spite of all her processions, we should meet even by the ladies of the heavenly planets gave up all such comforts. She was only sorry that a great son was separated from her. Hare Krishna. Uh -huh. Prabhu, can you just give me five, uh, five minutes? I just have to t speak to the doctor here. You come to see me. Recording stopped. Okay, thank you. Okay. This is my uh, foot here. Can you sit here? It will be better. Is it? Okay. Yes. You see here? I, I got bit by a bee, you know, yesterday. And now it's all the same. We'll just wait for five minutes. Yeah, both the legs. Till Maharaj comes back. Yeah, both the legs. Together. Yeah. 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 Y
I would like to see your lipid profile, that is the cholesterol oh. and your kidney function. Oh. So that I will arrange tomorrow. I will speak to the person, I think I has his number. Okay. This is the person. I will speak to him. Anything I will coordinate with him, but today uh, some medication need to be started. You have your dinner, it means you take something at night? No. You don't take. What time you took last time? Meal? Two. Two o'clock. Then you don't eat. In general you don't eat? No. <laughs> Premanjan does? Yeah? No. He can't communicate with me. Or who? No, or maybe his son. Now other group. Who am I to communicate? You have his number? Okay, Hare Krishna.